Hey friends, Megan McIntosh here. Welcome to this video. I am going to talk to you about how to coach in a crisis and how to coach when you might be going through things or your clients are going through things and things are heavily stressed and um, as they are now, as they have been in the last couple of years, but you know, it's, it's not been easy these last two years and you know a lot of COVID still happening and now we are in the midst of the conflict in Ukraine which is devastating to watch. I don't know about you but I do have some Ukrainian relatives uh, through marriage and it's I'm sure that maybe you have family members or even just watching uh, what's going on is devastating to you. It doesn't even matter if you have relatives or know people. And so I want to talk about how to coach in a crisis because we have been in this state of um, low level trauma for a long time and now it's still there and it's just turning on the news and knowing what's going on the other side of the world is just very, very difficult for so many people and not just your clients, for you as well. You might be, you know, listening, talking to relatives and hearing what's going on or um, talking to friends or seeing things on social media or seeing things in the news and seeing what's happening and just being um, almost mind blown and in shock of, you know, that we take peace so for granted and in shock that something like this could happen and, and wanting to know how to help and feeling almost stuck and frozen, right? Because you're in shock of what is going on in the world and um, it's just a, t a hard time. So I wanna talk about uh, how to coach in a com how to coach during conflict, but also should you be coaching during conflict and and how should you be reacting? And, and I mean, I don't think there's necessarily like a specific way. It's really, everyone is different in terms of the amount of uh, pain they might be experiencing when there's specific conflict or crises going on. And it's really whether you're close to it, whether you know people, whether it, 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 it could be anything, right? You're um, watching and it's just, um, you just, your heart is full for seeing what's going on. And I know that um, what's going on in Ukraine right now is devastating to watch. And it almost makes you think like, what's the point of, you know, doing what I do when what I do is so small in comparison to what's going on at the other side of the world. Um, you know, how do you compensate that in your mind of what I'm doing is it's important, but it's not as important about when, when people are in crises or when people are hurting and in pain and in war, right? And I think that the way I think about it is I think it's important to acknowledge things, these things that go on. I think it's important to acknowledge any type of crises in your life, whether it's um, something that's going on, on on the other side of the world, whether it's something that's hitting you at home, whether it's um, a personal crisis, a family crisis, an emergency, there's always going to be something, but there's times in your life when there's things that are even, they, they hit you stronger than other times, right? There's times that it's overwhelming versus other times where um, there's small things that are bothering you, right? And, and so you it really depends on how you're feeling and how you're doing and how things are going. And I think that that's the first thing is it really depends because I think that everybody goes through things. And so you could be going and you could be going through a health crisis. Someone in your family could be going through something. And so it's really understanding that there's all, there's oftentimes these moments in our lives where there's massive suffering. And then there's times in our lives when things are relatively peaceful. And you just don't know when, when something's gonna be peaceful and when something's gonna be heavy, right? And I, I believe that knowing yourself and, oh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of, um, the sun's going down a little bit. Knowing yourself, knowing how to 
deal with things and your own trauma responses, your own way of thinking is going to help. And if you are, if you have gifts in the world, if you have things that you're meant to do, if you're able to do them, do them, and then you can also give back, right? So I think that sometimes we get in this, this thinking of, well, I'm just frozen, I'm in shock, and I think that's okay for a little bit of time, obviously, and it depends on where you're located, obviously, and, and how close to the struggle or suffering you are, and, and if you're in it yourself. And I think that there are times where you can actually take a break and stop. Um, I know that um, myself, when I was going through a period of time before my mom passed away, that was a very hard time for me. So I really needed to preserve my energy. And so I would only take on a certain amount of clients. And I was aware of that. And so you have to think about what is your energy like and what are you able to have capacity for and being realistic about it and not overdoing it and knowing this is all I can do and I'm not going to over put myself in this situation where I'm over giving of myself or I'm doing more work than I should because there comes a time that it is okay to be um, you know take a break and relax and to just process I'm just moving around in my chair. Um, so I think it really depends. I think it's up to you. I think it, it it really depends on your situation, how you're dealing. But I think it's acknowledging really, really is important. I think that knowing what's going on in the world, knowing what's going on in your life, I think that the worst thing that you could do is ignore it. I think that it's important to acknowledge things that happen and what's going on. And if you are someone that's out there on social media, like I am, to, I don't think it's business as usual. I think that you have to acknowledge these things that happen in the world, right? Like COVID, like Ukraine, like your own family things. And, do, you know, obviously you can be private about things, right? If it's something about your family or something's going on with you personally and you're not ready to share. But I think that it is important to um, acknowledge things rather than just ignore them and pretend that they're not happening and just be doing your business and doing posts that um, are never acknowledging the situation or things that are going on. I think that it's important to be aware of what's happening in the world and be cognizant of that and I know that it's sometimes it's almost like I remember after my mom died some people were afraid to pick up the phone and call me because they were scared of what to say right and they didn't know how to approach it not everybody but I'm saying that I know that some people were afraid to call because they just felt like, ooh, if I say nothing, uh, then I'm not gonna mess up, or may, what if I'm calling her at the wrong time, or what if I call her and I say the wrong thing, right? I think it's almost better to acknowledge that you you maybe you're gonna mess it up, maybe you're not gonna say the right thing, maybe you might write a post that um, you, you have a bit of ignorance in, but it's almost like better to say something and acknowledge it and say how you're feeling than to completely ignore something that the whole world is going through. That's my stance at least. I think that when something goes on in the world, I want to acknowledge it because it's, you know, maybe it's not, you know, touching me like I'm not in like Ukraine or the country that it's happening in, but I know people that are affected by it. And um, also just having a heart, right? And seeing the news and knowing what's going on and feeling heaviness around it and acknowledging that there's a heaviness about a situation and it's devastating to see that the the way the world is, right? And, and to acknowledge that that is, um, it's not easy, right? It's not easy to, um, know what to do, know what to say, know how to feel, know how to think when everything is unstable and everything is um, out of your control, right? And so 
how do you coach? How do you coach? It's knowing these things before you get on the call with someone. It's being aware that they may have something going on there in their lives, but they also might have um, a heart for other things going on in the world and knowing that people like knowing what is their background, right? I think it's important when you coach someone to know someone very well because when you do, then you know um, where to be careful and, and what topics that might trigger them and also letting them vent and letting them open up. And for yourself, what are the boundaries that you need to give yourself? Do you need to give yourself extra self-care? Do you need to do things for your own self that so you feel better so that you don't feel overwhelmed by your own emotions and other people's emotions and understanding you know um your own capacity your own capacity as a coach your own capacity as a human with human suffering and understanding what is happening in the world and so that is that's how to coach it's really understanding your capacity understanding that other people when there are things going on in the world as well as in their lives that they're going to have a specific capacity knowing that in general when you coach people you're going to know about their lives but you're also going to know about the world events and how things affect people and how things affect you and knowing this is going to help you coach and knowing this is going to help you take care of yourself as you coach and not ignoring things and not pretending that these things aren't happening outside of the relationship and that everything affects us as humans and just being careful with people's hearts and giving your heart um, at its most, right? Like giving your heart to people and opening up your heart right and being able to share what you feel in your heart being able to share where where you're at i think that's also important and that's something that i like to do with my clients is i like to be honest with where i am and and how i'm feeling and i do find sometimes that helps my clients understand their own feelings um i you know i've voxer messaged um clients where i said well this is how i sometimes feel about these things and it's helped because it makes them think okay I'm not the only one feeling this way. I'm not the only one thinking this kind of thing, right? And when you're coaching, a lot of times it's about, you know, helping that person and, and getting them to that next level of their self-development and um, growth. But it's also them wanting to be acknowledged that what they're feeling is real and what they're feeling is normal and what they're feeling is just part of the human experience. And sometimes as a coach, you being able to give your truth is going to enlighten them to feel like, okay, um, how I'm feeling is normal. How I'm feeling is okay in this type of situation. So that's how to coach in a crisis. Some of my thoughts on it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're doing well. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're safe. And for the people in Ukraine, I'm just, my heart is with you. Like I mentioned, I have, um, family members who have married um, Ukrainians I have on both sides of my family on my mom's side and my dad's side and it's just heartbreaking because I've heard some stories and it's just devastating and um, yeah it's hard to watch the news and just everything I didn't mean to do this but I'm sure that this is underneath sometimes what you're feeling right and you can still coach when you're feeling like this because your vulnerability is going to open up the vulnerability of someone else so thank you so much for watching i really didn't mean to you know get teary-eyed at the end there but it's just sometimes i want you to know how I'm feeling and have my heart on my sleeve and I didn't mean to <laughs> let it out but sometimes things just come out right it is what it is so thank you so much for watching I know this was a little bit more personal and a little bit more emotional and a little bit more about feeling than tactics or techniques but I think that this is part of it this is part of um business this is part of having a human type of business where you're interacting with other humans you're going to be interacting with people with different emotions different times of their lives and seeing different things in the world and how it affects them and 
I truly hope that you are doing well and all my love to everybody. All my love to everyone all over the world. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.